Fuck! The sunset! Uh... Defeat is what I feel right now. Uh, it's for you. This is for you, Sayori. For you. Uh, <laughs> we made it. We made it. Oh my god, that took way too long. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club the fuck <laughs> last time we left off we left off uh, we, we finished uh monica's poem um i guess we like friend zone sayori so no last time we left off we left off on monica's poem we were hoping that it wasn't any weird shit going on but <clears throat> let's get started with natsuki why is the mood so weird today look even yuri isn't immune to it uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something is something terrible is about to happen. That's not good. I just got here. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, oh, Sayori just left. I remember she left the. Okay. It seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori always help, helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Fucking Natsuki. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah, she she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. She's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh, a curious expression coming from Yuri. All people calm down guys i talked to her earlier everything's fine anyway we we need to figure out the rest of you know the festival pre preparation so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend i already know what i'm doing that's right atsuki will be making cupcakes but we need we might need a lot of them and different flavors Can you handle that all by yourself natsuki challenge accepted and as for myself I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh... Hmm? Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. <laughs> no! <laughs> Not like that, Yuri. Come on, come on. No, yeah, same same idea. That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Uh, <laughs> then now <laughs> Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, they may, that may be the case, but if I can't also be a leader on my own, and I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some of the banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. <laughs> Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Majin Kun, the one who is truly useless. Both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. It could always help me out as well. Is Maka suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they gonna respond to such a suggestion like that? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. It's not like Maka's gonna give me a choice and you shouldn't be, you know, sitting on your butt anyway. Atsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking thing on your own. Hold on, I never said that. Damn, these girls are just fighting over me. Uh, you know, you know. 
How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making a season's formation tune to... What, what are you... I, it, <laughs> it will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In in the end, I think it's up to Majinkun to decide how he'd like to contribute. I'd do both in one room. <laughs> Besides, he hasn't gotten, you know, he hasn't really gotten the chance to, you know, spend any time with me yet, you know? You're creepy, but I like creepy. <laughs> so I'm sure he's interested in, you literally just said, I I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry, I was just saying though. Jeez, can we just sell this already? Yeah, Majin Kun, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, girls, all girls. Uh, of course, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Hell yeah. You. Maybe. You're a bitch. Uh, but of course I'm going with, or going to go with. Jeez, Monica, Sayori's right there though. I gotta check on Sayori. Sayori's the one, I mean Monica's the baby, but like. Cupcakes, intellectual love, it's beautiful. Sayori, the best friend. Sayori, Sayori's an option. See that I wouldn't I would have done Monica. Sayori's an option. I gotta go with Sayori. I mean, if it's gonna be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean we're all ready neighbors. But Monica said Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez, do you really hate us that much? No no. Sorry, I, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? Hmm. Well, they just totally like Sayori's just nothing. Uh Okay, I gotta do Monica then. Well, I guess it should probably be helping Monica. Yay, you picked me! Hold on one second. Yeah. Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Uh but I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but you already have Sayori as well. But Meishinkin was the one who- <laughs> I know, I want to choose you. Ah, uh, that doesn't matter. You were the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior moves interfere with this decision. Ulterior moves? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with the ulterior motives. Excuse me? Did I say moves? It's motives. Anyways. Otherwise, this wouldn't have been, you know, made into such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do, you know. We won't do as good of a job. We won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone ah maybe that's true think of the club monica if we want our event to succeed then we need to offer properly you know distribute our resources i'm the resource um uh so are you gonna do the right thing president okay okay i get it you have a preference mate you know if it had to be all of that Guys, I would have just chose one of two, but like they gave me the options, so like I had to. Give me Sayori first. I had to. Monica. Monica. Uh. Do I want cutesy or intellectual? No, I like. Like I like the mean girl, you know, being cute. I like Natsuki, you know, cupcakes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Natsuki. Baking. Baking. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so... You could probably use two people. Don't worry. Baking is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Uh... Just a minute ago, you were saying that... That's because... 
Never mind, okay? Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it after all. Oh, Yuri, no. No, Yuri. <laughs> ah, shit, I feel bad. Ah. No. Ah. That's good. <laughs> Even though Yuri is being melodramatic, it's hard not to feel bad. I feel bad. So, that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yeah, everything except the performance is going to be awesome. Everything meaning me. Okay, I don't think that really counts. Uh, what about you, Meijin Kun? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. Uh. Mm. Atsuki starts pouting too. It's not. I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might just. It might not just be that. I think that Yuri might be. You know, might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. That doesn't mean... Uh, Asuki glances back and forth between everyone with worried expression. Look, Natsuki goes over and puts her hand on Yuri's shoulder. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. And you're gonna help make the event a lot more fun and welcome. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help out a lot too, but you're gonna make the atmosphere special. You need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Atsuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. Ah, <sighs> Yuri confirmation. Ah, uh, you didn't really mean that, did you? Um, not really, but Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Atsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work out perfectly, I can tell that uh, she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more, you know, for today. Uh-huh. So, I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so... Fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Uh... We still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. This is a cute, oh, nice, nice music. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't ha even have a way to contact me. Oh, that's, that's, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. How would I do that? Hmm. Natsuki gives me her number. Okay. You guys know what's going down this weekend. Mm. I'm coming over on Sunday. That's such a weird day, Natsuki. Not Saturday. I mean, Saturday is for everybody, but Sunday. Sunday's for the boys. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah, what's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like, I could have a guy over at my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad's home. Anyway, I just needed to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. <sighs> Alright, fine by me. Yeah. I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so much. Anyway, I'll be hanging out now. See you on Sunday. Ah, uh, never mind. 
I can't believe this. Natsuki is going to come over my house. Well, going to be coming over my house on Sunday. Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori or Monica, my anxiety still shoots through the roof because it's a baby girl. I guess I have gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me, you know, she was looking forward to it. Shake my head. How do I feel, you know, nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Fucking idiot. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. Sorry, Sunday. All right. I've been getting incre increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming uh, visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help out very much. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other one after exchanging numbers just to double check, but it turned into a conversation. Sliding DMs. She's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute language. She also really likes complaining about me, but I kind of saw that one coming. But putting Natsuki aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club earlier that day. It's not like we text each other all the time, right? But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between Sayori, what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori, say, well, I was gonna say Natsuki, to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Ooh, I like this house. I decide to visit Sayori before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I'm assuming she's up in her room. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Ooh, Asian. Hi. Hey. Hi, Asian kid. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but. It's easy to tell that she's different. You haven't come over like this in a long time, haven't you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has changed, really, huh? Has it? Sayori's moo. <laughs> I see the cow. Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. Not that messy. I mean, there's a dead, there's a couple dead plants. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she had for years now. Yeah, if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly want to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Natsuki today? Yeah, but wait, how did you know that? Yeah, how, how the fuck did you know that you weren't here? Terry had already left by the time you know, we decided that. Yeah, Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival of preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica out today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After, you know, you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't just hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Majin Kun. Uh, why can't it just be like it's always been? This is my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make the stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have, you know, been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now, but this is my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. What the fuck? No, you're just thinking too much. And my guy's, my character's stupid. I think that's why the world decided, you know, to have you come over today. And it just wants to torture me. No. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. Sayori. I grab her by the shoulder. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. Hmm. So tell me already. Till I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh... 
Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Mason Kun. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, man? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is... I've had really bad depression in my whole life. Why do you think I'm late for school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? I go to school. I eat. I make friends. I make other people put their energy carrying into the waste by having them spend it on me. Okay? That's what, I, uh, that's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Oh. Without oh, worrying about her yeah it's... i'm in shock i can't even figure out how to re how to respond how is it possible that sayori kept this for me that entire time i've known her did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her why sayori uh why is it that you've never told me about this it almost feels like i've been betrayed as your close friend because if i knew i would have done everything I could do to support you. Even if there's only so much I can do. I would have, you know, tried a little bit harder to make your day a little bit better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Majin Kun. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste, you know, effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's very sweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swing, uh, swung to my head. Against my head. <laughs> Don't laugh about that. Why the fuck you laugh about that? That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. You're helping everyone be happy together. It's the best for me. Best thing for me. Damn, this is kind of, this is depressing. Uh, but then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and getting closer with everyone in the club, uh, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why, so that's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> you shouldn't laugh after that. You're right, that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori, but I don't need to understand whatever it takes for me to Help you stop hurting. That's what I'll do. Yeah. No, Majin Kun. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped me is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Stop. Here's streak down Sarah's face. Ah. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish, and I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. But now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to escape this- uh, escape- uh, escape? Why did I say- accept? What the f- And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Ah! Asian Kun. Aori. I don't care if you're selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care. Ooh, deep simulator stuff. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have it any other way. Asian Kun, Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain on her side. He starts sobbing next to my my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Asian Kun, I all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out a way. Oh, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything you that you need me to do. Then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't. I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know. Gently Sayori finally puts her arms around me. And I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I, I don't understand my any of my feelings, Majin Kun. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. Hugs are so warm, and that's really scary too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Oh, well, the festival is tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be fun, right? Yeah, how would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh, it's what I want. I promise. I think that would be nice then. Yeah. There wipes your eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Yeah, maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Natsuki to, you know, meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. My surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be good for me today. You understand, right? Ah, uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to... <clears throat> keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over too. I think Sayori's right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Alright. And guys, this has been Doki Doki. We're going to stop right here because, you know, that was a longer episode than I wanted it to be, but we got through what, you know, what happened with Sayori. Um, we're you know, I tried choosing Sayori and Monica for helping out, and I made Yuri feel bad, but it's okay that Yuri feels bad because she's a shy little bit. We, we got Natsuki coming over, and I'm gonna make some cupcakes next episode. So, I don't know when the creepy bits start, but like, you know, it's acting like a true dating sim. I mean, we had the creepy bits in the beginning with Monica, you know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. If you liked, you know, comment down below if you want more. Um, and yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, check out our ClickCast channel on YouTube. I'm part of ClickCast. Uh, it's a content creator group that me, uh, Glenn G, and a couple other creators started. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.